Hi folks, this is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com guide to CyberLink Power Director Ultimate. And here we are in CyberLink Power Director Ultimate 19. Now, by default, the timeline in Power Director starts with a couple of basic tracks. And as you add media to your tracks, it adds more tracks. But there are a number of special purpose tracks that are sort of hidden away. I'm going to show you how to get to those because they're pretty cool too. If I go up here to the uh, track headers here on the left, and if I right click, yes, I get some options here for removing empty tracks. That's a nice way to clean up your timeline and for showing tracks. So we can show, for instance, the SRVT track that will show us which elements in our movie need to be re-rendered or which ones can be smart rendered. A very nice feature. We can also show chapter tracks. This is if you're generating chapters for a DVD or a Blu-ray disc. And there's a subtitle track if you're going to add optional subtitles to your movie. These are all really cool and they're hidden away, tucked away, unless you select the option for them to appear. But there's one other track that you may not even notice. So let's right click and select Add Tracks. When you select add tracks, you see under the track manager, you can add an additional video track, or you can add an additional audio track, or you can add an effect track. I'm going to set the video track to zero. We don't want to add a new video track. We don't want to add a new audio track, but I do want to add an effect track. I'm going to select the option to add it above track number two. So it will we'll appear here between track one and track two. So we're going to add an effects track. Now, as you know, you can add effects directly to a clip, of course, on your timeline, but the effects track allows you to add an effect as sort of an adjustment layer. In other words, it will affect any video that appears beneath that effect. So in other words, anything I add to this effects track is going to affect all of the clips on video track one. Let me show you what I mean. Let's go over here and just select an effect. We'll select something that's really obvious. Okay, halftone, nice obvious one. And rather than drag it directly to a clip, I'm going to drag it to the FX track. And you notice that right where the uh, playhead is, that there's how my track is affected. If I drag this out, any track or any clip that appears underneath that effect is affected. It's nice. It's easy to add, easy to remove, easy to disable temporarily. Let's try a different effect. I'm going to just delete that one. I want to try one that might be more useful. So for instance, you did an entire movie and you want it appear to appear as if it's a silent movie or an older movie. I'm just going to drag silent era down here to our FX track. Now, some effects do not add to that track. Silent era, for instance, won't work down there. But sepia tone does. So we can give an entire movie a sepia tone. We can give an entire movie, uh, make an entire movie black and white. We can apply a single effect to our entire movie just by applying it to this effects track rather than directly to a clip. So it's kind of a nice way to affect an entire uh, segment of your movie and just as easy to remove. Anyway, that's an optional track hidden away there unless you select it here from the track options under the right click menu on the track header. Want to know more about these kinds of uh, tools and features? Be sure to check out the many tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. Want to know everything there is to know about CyberLink Power Director? You'll want to check out my book, The MoviePix.com Guide to CyberLink Power Director Ultimate. It's available at amazon.com. I'm Steve Grizzetti. I hope to see you again real soon.